Welcome everybody, welcome back to the bonus episode of Super Let's Play Super Monkey Ball 2 with your host, MJ406. I have more gifts I can buy from completing all the stuff in Master Mode. I already bought all the lives I need, so why don't I just buy everything else? You can buy all the movie clips like I mentioned. So you can watch them to your heart's content. However, you have to be, you have to have gotten up that far in story mode for that movie to be available for you to buy. And now you can play the staff credit games once you want if you choose to buy that. So all that would be left for me to do is buy all the lives that I can, but I don't really need to do that anymore. Oh, I can't buy one more though. Go figure. Okay. Oh yes, you also get information on your play points. Apparently I never mentioned that. Even though that section was there. Okay, so what's this episode going to be about? Well, there's only one thing we really do left. There's practice mode. I guess what I can really do is just show you guys some exits I didn't show up, get to show off in some of the stages. Although there's not really all that much that I didn't go over. I honestly have to think about which ones I didn't do. If any. Or at least ones I didn't mention. Ah, uh, here we go. I'll do Long Slider legitimately for you guys. Because you guys remember how I skipped it before. How about I actually try to do it the way it was meant to be done? Well, I was amazed at how I completed it. That wasn't the way it was supposed to be done. You're supposed to do it like this. Well, not like that! Oh, God. Despite completing Master... Despite completing the Master class, I'm still going to be having trouble with this. Fantastic! Ow. Now I can... Now I can happily say that I'm happy I cheated my way through this, because apparently I can't do this. Alright, well, when you're doing practice mode, you basically do all the things you can do in um, story mode, except you can play the stage to your heart's content. Even if you beat it, you can keep playing it. Your banana count sticks where it is. Eh, screw this. That wasn't as fun as I was hoping it would be. Okay, let's try a different stage. There are plenty of extra exits and stages that I didn't get to show off. So I'll try a few of them. I'll give a couple shots at trying to go for the extra exit here in Strata. Guys, remember, this is where I gave my lecture on you gotta be calm when playing this game or you'll lose your mind. This was probably a good stage for it, actually. Probably one of those days required to be in calm more than any of the others. The tricky thing is, if you want to get the extra exit, you have to go further ahead. Oh god, I have bad balance. Let's go to a different stage. I'm giving up on these very easily because I know these I can't do well. Alright, let me think of another stage. Ooh, free throw! I mentioned there was a blue exit, and I did that one right away. I'll show you, try to show you how to get to the other ones. There is a green and a red. You want to get up to the beginning of the launcher and fly. Then move forward. If you aim well enough... Ah! Red goal! Yes! First try! You can also save replays that you've done in practice mode. So you can save it if you want to keep it in mind for another time. It's basically a good way to review runs of levels you're having difficulty with. Oh! Perfect shot. Perfect shot. There you go, those are the exits for that one. Alright. 
I know there's a there's a level somewhere along here that had another exit I didn't even mention. I think it might have been master class. Um Swing Bridges. That was it. I mentioned there was a green exit here. You guys couldn't even tell where the hell it was. So I'll try to get to it now. The failure is not over yet. Oh god, in fact it's just begun. Why did I agree to do this? This is a terrible idea. I should not have chosen to do these. Oh god! See, getting on the first bridge alone is really challenging. Oh god, I'm going the wrong way. Woo! Made it. They're wide bridges, but they're difficult. It's as difficult to get on the first bridge for this one as it is to get on the last bridge for the regular exit. Oh, God! Wow! Oh! Whoops. That was pretty dumb. I'll take full responsibility for that one. Okay. Woo. See, look at this one. Makes a pretty big rotation, wouldn't you say? Oh, God. You know what? You guys see where the exit is. I just don't feel like trying. That's how much a little effort I'm putting into this right now. Hmm. Okay. Ah, passage. This one I can actually do. This one's not that hard. You guys saw me go to the blue exit, which is just on the other side of this wall. Well, the other side of the level. You, you get the idea. Okay. I'm progressing through the level as normal. Or not as normal. Apparently, I'm going to die. Got to have at least one of those every time, I guess. Oh, God. Oh, no, 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 don't go too quickly. Yeah, don't try to rush through this level, because remember, those things will just shoot out. Try to knock you off. All right. Now, if you go down here... Oh! Oh, God, that was... Did he curve upward? How did he do that? Did some... It, it's like the metal bar somehow put spin on I. -I. I don't know how that just happened, but... Wow. That's all I could say. Wow. You know what's it? Ah! Damn it, I did it again. Ugh. Frisking these corners is not easy. Damn you, Master Class. Well, you're still too much of a challenge for me. Damn it. Move. Yeah, oh, there we go. Hug the wall, but don't hit the wall, damn it! Hug the wall, but you don't, you can hug the wall, you don't have to hit it, you ass. You know what, let me go the other way. I'm curious. See how well that will go. Ooh. Oh god, it pushed me back in. No wonder why it seems safe. It's probably safer going this way if you're going to be fast about it. Let's try this. Ha ha! I beat you! See, look, green exit right here. With a bunch of bananas, even. I don't think there's a red one here. I'll check, I guess, but... I really don't think there's one here. Okay, I'll go check it right away, I suppose. Nah. Yeah, it's just a plain platform. Oh wait, you can probably view the stage and look around. See, you can see the green exit through the view here. See, just in that little hole, or not, because my camera, but... The exit is there, it's just hard to see. But there's no red one here. Okay. 
So that's that stage. Select stage. What others are there, if any? Long Taurus has two exits, by the way. Um, clock face has one, obviously. Hmm. Wonder what others. Striker, you guys saw me get pretty close to that. Boo parts. Eh. Plants has the other one. Sliced cheese has one. Eight seesaws has one. Synchronized has two. Helix has two. You kind of saw the other one. I'm not bothering that one. Dizzy System has one. Nintendo has one, of course. I guess the only one I can try to show off is planets again. Why don't I try to make a shot at getting the last exit? This will be the last one. Actually, I could probably do one more after this. There's one I have in mind. But you guys have seen the level before. I just want to try to go for it for personal achievement reasons. Oh, God! I did go scour through like the entirety of almost every single level in this game. There's gonna be a lot less this episode than I thought there would be. Oh god. Oh! One more. Unless I'm confident that I can do it, three tries is going to be my limit. Alright, let's give us another shot. Go. Go. No. Oh, God! Oh, oh, I bounced on the wrong way. Damn you, precision! Precision bouncing is not my specialty. All the story mode World 10 stages have one exit, if, you, if I didn't tell you that already. Because there's no, there's no reason I have a second exit if they're not even going to be in challenge mode. So, yeah. There you go. What's the other level I wanted to do? I think it was... Tears. I'm going to try the red exit three more times. For personal reasons. I want to see if I can pull this off at all. Okay. So remember, you got to be slow and steady, but fast enough to stay up. If you're too fast, you'll fly off going forward. If you're too slow, you'll just slip. So you gotta find a balance that keeps you on. The slightest tab of the control stick can throw you in another direction. So you have to plan. You have to carefully plan your movements. Was that three already? God damn it. I'll make it five for this one. This one's particularly short. Oh god. Alright, one more. I'm not keeping count, but this will be my last one. I just wanted to see if through all this training, through this these videos, I'd give it or no. Screw it. Alright, yeah, so practice the stages as much as you want. And if you want to count the unique stages, there's there are 150. It even states it on the back of the game cartridge. Well, the game case rather. So there's a hundred unique stages in story mode and challenge mode. Let's see, there are nine bonus stages which aren't unique and do not show up anywhere in story mode. The beginner's extra has one unique stage in the extra, so that's 110. There's 10 unique from advanced extra, that's 120. 10 from expert extra, 130. 10 from master, 140. And 10 from master extra, 150. So when they said there are 150 stages, they weren't lying. That's exactly how many there are. So I'm trying to get good at all of them. I show off all the party games. I don't need to do that again. The only thing left I can show off is replay. I saved some replays in the past as well as ones I did in these in our videos. Oh yes, perhaps I should show you Master Extra 8. Here is how I completed Helix. After many struggles, I knew I forgot something. After dying over a hundred times, I'm pretty sure I counted that right, I 
finally managed to stay steady enough to get right the goal. There you go. That's how I did it. You can press B to leave, otherwise it'll just keep cycling on repeat. They have them ordered in your replays, not by date, but by stage. They have it ordered by challenge mode stages from difficulty rankings. And then they've been organized by story afterwards. I may as well show up all? Why the heck not? Here was one of one of my extra attempts at going through beginner stage without trying without losing a life. Through awkward bounces I made it. See if I don't press anything, it'll just keep replaying the video. Oh yes! If you press X, you can go through it in slow motion. If you press X, you can pause it. And then press A or hold A and you can go through it in slow motion, frame by frame if you want. That was how you did it. And again, press B to leave. I had another one, but, nah. Okay. I think I might have saved this one while we were... I think I saved this one? Yeah! That's right. I somehow bounced that very well, yes. This is one that could probably be worth going through in slow motion. So we pause it and go frame by frame. See, Gong Gong goes through. He goes up just in time to avoid getting smacked by those platforms. And then lands back on safely. Making clearing the level a cinch. Sometimes it's worth evaluating some things like that that make it interesting. Here's another one, Expert 33. I was going through with Ai Ai again. Despite being somewhat bounced off, he survived. Unfortunately, you can't go reverse in the replays. So you can only go forward and pause and then go frame by frame. I completely forgot you go frame by frame, but I had a feeling you could. See, he kind of fell off as he was trying to roll up there, causing that weird little spinning bounce. That's why I love these replays. You can look at them as much as you want. Hmm. I think this one was from before I even started the LP. Yeah, I think... This is one of my first attempts at being the worm. Are you as confused as I am with this? Okay. He smack, he gets smacked around. Now, I don't even remember how this happened, so I'm gonna go in slow motion, frame by frame. He gets all bananas. Somehow, he snaps the goal ring. I don't know how, and then... Eh, eh. See, I don't even remember this happening, ever. I didn't even, I can tell why I saved it now, because that was just really confusing. Let's just look at it one more time. He grabs the bananas, hits the edge, and somehow snapped the goal ring open. How did that work? See, it's not to say this game is not full of glitches, because it certainly is. Oh god, that was horrible. 
Yes, okay, this was my run going through Expert Extra Wild. This is me going through Expert Extra while I was trying to unlock Master Class. One super high shot! Bounce off the rim! He made it! He wins the game! Screw you, LeBron! Okay. What else was there that I did? I had two replays of this. Oh, you can delete them whenever you want. Just make sure you have room on your memory card, because each of these takes like two to three blocks. In some cases, five, like the Helix one did. It depends on how long the video is. Yeah, yeah, I guess you can see when I recorded these now, so... Yeah. Here's one from a long time ago, though. See, it's been about two years from the time of recording this since I last played. I always keep this a record. In case I ever forget how to do this level, I always keep this video of how to do it properly. I like the fact he gets hit by the ring on the way out. Not, not necessary at all, but he did it. Apparently this one was from just about a year ago. Okay, I guess I did play this a year ago. Go figure. Oh, clean shot, just like in the LP. Alright, that wasn't needed at all. In fact, I'm gonna get rid of it. Need to save up memory on this card anyway. But this is... I recorded the first time I learned the flat maze trick. Because this is my least favorite level in all story mode. But I was so happy when I learned you could do that. If you've launched yourself right, you can skip the entire maze and make it a joke. While lives would be lost trying to do this in challenge mode, it's well worth it. Makes it much less terrible. Hmm. Expert 4-8. We got this in recording, right? I think we did. Yeah, 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 I got the green, that's right! I ran through it at the perfect time and actually got it. Was that in the recording? I think. Ugh, I had to look back on it, but yeah. Oh yeah, it must have been, yeah. Wait, wait. Huh? How did I do World 4 an hour before I did World 2? That... Um... Okay, I don't know where the heck that came from, but... Yeah. Apparently, I don't know when I recorded any of these. Um... I guess I'll end this by saying I plead the fifth. Anyway, that's really all I could show. But there's one last thing I should mention. If you buy all these, all the movies, the staff credit game, and all the lives possible, the play points category changes. So instead of taking play points you need to spend on anything, since you bought everything, it instead records the highest amount of play points you've gotten in one run. Whether it's completing all story mode in run, one run, or doing expert, expert, extra, master, and master extra all in one run. Which are probably the two highest, what, easiest ways to get massive play point counts. So yeah, it starts recording your, your highest play point acquisition after that. And here again are all my classic mode rankings, if I didn't go over those already. Master mode is now here. Only one has actually been valid because I accidentally quit out that one time. Damn it. Well, it's probably better that I did. 
Anyway, that's really all I have. So yeah, you guys have seen everything in Super Monkey Ball 2. Well, yes, there's there's a few other things you can do in the party games, like regular bowling. Yeah, there's regular bowling. There's tournaments and stuff, which is basically just a series of games. There's different modes and billiards. In multiplayer mode in Monkey Target, you have the choice of going with one or two balls with you simultaneously. But everybody gets to go at once, and that can be up to four people, so it can get very hectic. You you kind of get competition for points and shot. And, um, yeah, that's it. I've shot off everything else, and there's, there's really no unlockables within the party games besides the extra special modes, or no, the extra challenge mode difficulties in bowling. But other than that, you've got everything. Alright, so this officially concludes the entire Super Monkey Ball 2 project. Like I've said before, this game may look a little childish and seem kind of ridiculous. But if you can, if you can manage yourself through these puzzles, you look back on it with a smile, like I do. It's a great game. Especially with friends. You can either in relish in the party games, all 12 different types, and play for hours on end. And particularly target, dogfight, and shot. And bowling, and billiards, and fight, and maybe baseball. Yeah, and remember, you can do challenge mode with up to four players. So everybody gets to take turns. However, you all compete to see who can get the highest score and who can get through the fastest. You guys don't go through it cooperatively, you go through it competitively. But you don't get play points that way. So if you want to get the play points to unlock things, you gotta do it by yourself. Or you can rotate amongst just one person, in which case would be cooperative, but that's beside the point. So anyway, if you haven't thought about getting this game, maybe you should give it a shot. Go back to the golden age of why Super Monkey Ball got so popular. This was probably the game that gave it huge popularity, although the first one's not bad either. So this officially concludes the project. I've been your host, the MJ4106. I look forward to seeing you guys next time for whatever my next project may be. And thanks for watching. I hope you guys look forward to my next project, whatever it is. Might be a solo one, might be with guest commentary, I don't know. See you then.